Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and here we are. We're going to be making a picture out of buttons that may be able to be used as cover art. So I thought we'd play with that today a little bit. It's a quick and easy project. I've never done it before, but we're going to try it together. I'm going to maybe add some cheesecloth and see how that goes. Um, also, we're going to be having an ephemera contest and here is the piece of ephemera that will be um, uh, the contest for uh, the drawing that will occur next week. Yeah, no, this week. This week. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to pull from last week's comments from Craft Chat, Junk Journal Craft Chat video on Friday, and we're going to pull a winner for this piece of ephemera, which is dated... 1900. I believe it's from, it's a beautiful piece of calligraphy. Let me just back up a little bit. A beautiful piece of uh, calligraphy. For your security, you have been logged out due to inactivity. Oh, I guess that's I, not important. Um, but it's from a, fer did I say it's from a fertilizer company? Uh, but it's beautiful handwriting and from the estate of and uh, Eleanor Young. Very beautiful and it has some writing on the back as well. So some type of important document. Um, so we're going to call this the Fertilizer Company uh, letter. So if you win it, let me know you won the Fertilizer Company letter. Give me your name and mailing address, and um, we'll go from there. Okay? So great. And uh, actually, if you can put in there the date that you won, like uh, today's date, which would be do, 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 the 8th. So on the uh, craft chat, on the 8th. There you go. All right. So we're also going to answer your crafty questions. And let's just, just see the first question is, um, Sherry Hall asks, how did you know I borrowed my sister's sewing machine? Ha ha. Loved your altered paper clips. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, that was the altered paper clips and fabric, uh, with fabric and paper for junk journals. There was a part one and two because my camera and I had a fight, but that's the way it went and everything is okay. So my big question here is, I think, first of all, I would like to round the corners of this. This is um, a piece of scrapbook paper, just that I thought was pretty. And, oh, oh, that wasn't very effective. Let's see if I can get this to work. There we go. I'm rounding the corners with the Crocodile Corner Chomper. Yes, that's a great little tool. I think it's by We Are Memory Keepers. If I could keep it still. Um, okay. Just get, okay, now we need, we need to open it up. Right, that's it. It's such a great little tool. Like I can't operate it today. Okay, there we go. A little better. Um, just put the corner in there, and it will chomp a little rounded edge. There. And is this one good? I guess that one is pretty good. So I can do a little better than that. Okay, there we go. So we have nice rounded edges, and I think I'm going to ink the edges just for fun, like we do. And I'm going to use walnut stains because because that's what I have. I'm going to wet it a little bit. Oh, drop something. God knows what that was. Where, where'd you go? It was my dauber. My little dauber is back. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to learn how to like country music. Yeah, that's my latest thing. I, I've always stayed away from country music, but I'm, I'm learning to like it because I think there's fun to be had in the world of country music. And there are a few songs that I do like, so... I'm having fun. If you have any suggestions of your favorite song, country songs, please feel free to put them down below in the comments. Um, I don't even know if I can mention names and singers of songs here on YouTube before YouTube freaks out. But um, anyway, I'm open to your suggestions, what you think I should put on my Spotify playlist um, for songs for my country playlist. I will take your recommendations and check them out. Yeah, how about that? Okay, so there we go. And uh, so now we have this looking pretty cool. And now I have a pile of buttons here. I just grabbed a random pile and I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna do this, but I thought I'd try and make a tree. And um, this one with the bump on it's too big. But uh, let me just kind of get an idea here of what on earth I'm doing. Do I need the darker buttons or are the lighter buttons okay too? They seem to show up on here. And then my next question was, should I nest everything on a central piece of white cheesecloth and put the tree on here as an option? 
I think I'll do that. I don't know. It just seems like fun. And I was going to coffee dye it, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just coffee dye one end of it. I've got, where is it? Oh, okay. All right. Hopefully this still works. Okay. I've got some coffee dye in here. And it's got, oh, because it doesn't work. Come on, spritzer sprayer. Nope, nothing. Got nothing. Sometimes these things clog. Okay. There's, there is coffee in here. Yep, there's coffee in there. Okay, we just got to get it out. Okay, I'll just pour, pour a little bit in here. And then I'm going to smush it. And that's me coffee dyeing. This, I already d dabbled it on my paper. Look at that, how fast that happens, right? So now we have coffee dyed um, cheesecloth. It's kind of cool. And I just want to see what this looks like. Is this better with the making a tree out of white? That kind of looks cool. And with an occasional dark one, maybe I will do that as opposed to the white. Let's compare and contrast. Or do we like it better with white and this on here? I think I'm going to do the coffee dye. I don't know. Just something speaking to me about it. Okay. So let's, let's just cut this piece off. The part that's truly coffee dyed. It's okay if a little isn't. It doesn't all have to be perfectly coffee dyed, like somewhat coffee dyed is fine. Let me close this up before this gets knocked over and everything is coffee dyed, even sunshine. Sunshine? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. He's back to sleep. Never mind. He's all right. Okay. So this is damp because I just coffee dyed it, but I think I'm just going to nest it on here. And that's the nice thing. Here I go. Stick my foot in my mouth here, but I'm going to use Fabrifix to... Are you gonna flow? You're like resistant to flow because you're a little clogged. Let me, let me get the big bottle. Ah, you know what? I'm not gonna use, even use Fabrifix. I'm just gonna go straight to Scotch Create glue stick because this is a permanent glue stick. Um, it will glue lightweight fabric projects and you can't really get much lighter weight than um, cheesecloth. So let me just put some of this down. Oh, yeah, keep it straight. It's pretty fast, you know what I mean? Like, there, done. And then you just lay this down and kind of smoosh it into place. Or you can smoosh it into place and then lay it down however however you want to do it. But I think I'm... And this is damp. And that's the nice thing about these silicone-y type glue-ish things. You can do it when they're wet. Okay, let's see if I need a little bit more glue around the edges here. You can always go back and glue later, too, if you missed a spot. But sometimes you, you don't know how far you went. All right, that's kind of cool. I like that. And um, let me put it together there. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to construct our tree out of buttons, in my theory. Um, now here I would like to use Fabrifix. And I think I need to refill my fabric, Fabrifix bottle a little bit. Can I do it? Can I do it? Eh, yes. If you can't get this undone, even if you use plumber's tape and stuff like that, sometimes you can get this part open quite easily. Pop that open quite easily. Open that up and then maybe get in here with some glue. Did I, did I open this already? I hope so. Yep. Mama already snipped that off and op took off the little tab thing. So we are now reloading the um, whoop, Sugar Bell's icing piping bottle. Try not to overload it too quickly or else you'll clog this and then you get the bubble thing and you got to deal with that for a second. So if you're patient and don't rush, you can get this done relatively quickly. Okay, I'm trying to go smooth, slow, smooth, slow, smooth, slow. So yeah, hope you're having a good crafty day. This is how I refill it. I know I've been asked about this, so yeah, this is how I do it. It's come out, coming out in a decent stream. I won't refill the whole thing, but I'll just get enough in there to glue this stuff down, which I think I have enough. All right, I think, 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 think. All right, ooh, ooh, lots of glue on there, baby. All right, we're gonna need some help of a baby wipe, I can tell. This is gonna be a glue nightmare. All right, oh, probably should clean this out. Are we good in there? Oh, we're gonna find out. We're going to find out. Okay. And then we're going to put this on and we're going to see if we can glue these buttons down. All right. Let me talk about Yeah. We're okay. Oh. Okay. So let's keep holding it upside down because we did put, I don't know, there was quite a bit of glue that went in there. 
We want it to be at the ready. Okay, so we're just going to maybe make the design first. Here, put that upside down and get a chance to get going. And then maybe the bigger ones at the bottom, the bigger white ones. And then just build up the trunk of the tree. I think I'm going to need more buttons. Okay. Yeah. Okay, go get another. Another pile of buttons, Pam. Well, there's no shortage of buttons in this house. Okay, let's see if I got enough this time. All right. Oh, that's a nice big one. Yeah, we'll use you instead. You're kind of cool. Put you in the center. Da, 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 da. Getting too neutral. Shiny. Can you see? Yeah, okay. Um, maybe the bigger ones will build up. Put you in the base. Maybe give you a nice base button there. That's kind of cool. There. Or something like that. Let's just glue them. Let's just commit as we're doing it and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so put this one first. He's like kind of, he's like some sort of shell or bone button from days gone by. That's kind of cool. And I might do some, um, aquarellable Stabilo pencil around it. I don't know if I can do it, but I'll, I'll try maybe to emphasize stuff, you know? I don't know though, because I don't, the, the cheesecloth is wet. We'll have to try it together, see what happens. All right. Okay, that one looks like that. So this one like that. All right. Okay, a little button in there. A little baby button. A fit in there. You gonna go in there? I'll try. I'm trying. Oh, yep, you'll go. Okay. I just put a little boob of glue down there. Okay. I got some glue on this button. I just roll that off. It's all pretty like. Okay, so we have our. We have our base of the tree. Now we're just going to go north a little bit. The, the, all the little eyes don't have to be, the little buttonholes don't have to be exact or even or, you know, in the right orientation. It's all good. Okay, so far it doesn't look like a tree at all, Pam. Make it look like a tree. Okay, I'm trying. Um, okay, this little guy. All right, we need to go s more stemmy, like a trunk. Okay. All right. All right. Now we're going to go thinner. All right. We're going thinner. Now we're going to go to one button. One button thickness. I've just made a pyramid. I've successfully made a pyramid or a Christmas tree. We could call it a Christmas tree and be done with it. Now I'll try the branchy thing. That's what I was going to go for. Okay. So let's just do it. All right. So I'm just going to go off in, in a direction. Let's see if I can make something that looks like a tree. Uh, this is hopefully beginner friendly. There we go. Putting the little branches out here. This is kind of fun actually. It's relaxing. I'm, I'm feeling relaxed. I'm calm. The world is a good place right now. And there's a little turn there. A little smaller buttons here as we go out. Okay, these are so cute. I just love these little buttons. I should have put it on the other side. Oh, well, too late. It's all right. Oh, not one button on top of another. No, no. Okay, there we go. All right. Maybe we're going to build another little... I don't know if this really looks like a tree. It looks kind of weird. But it's all good. Okay, so maybe there's a thicker center to it. And that's just a branch coming off. And then maybe we'll just put a little button like here. Okay, here. There. Okay. So, so far so good, right? All right. It's looking kind of weird, but we're rolling with it. Um, little buttons to come. Okay, and the, the glue is just oozing out at the right pace. Got some free-flowing button around there. We don't know what that is. Maybe we're just going to create a, a branch over here. Let's do that. Yes. I don't care if there's threads attached. It's kind of cool, actually, if there's a few little threads attached. Um, were you attached? Well, you will be now. You popped out of the woodwork. Um, you're too small. You have much up there. Oh, no, you have red on. You can't do that. Put you that way. Okay. And we'll work our way up to you. How about that? 
I got something else stuck to my finger. All right. But it's like a, um, a little, one of those, you know, a little snap. Well, we can put you in there. That might be fun. Just something different, you know, a little eye catching different thing. There. Why not? Why not? It's our tree. We can do as we see fit. I've got another button stuck to my finger. Look at that. Okay. Now, now this is getting a little hairy here. You guys need to sit down and pay attention. There's enough of this dancing around. Okay. Off to the side. Okay, I would like to say this doesn't look like a tree at all. At all. We're not, like, not even in the close zone. So we're going to have to do something. With what, I have this double button things going on. Okay. Maybe, just maybe, I need more something. Something, we need more something here. Okay, I, need, I think I need to put something in there that looked empty. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to build on this central thing and make it look more tree-like if I can. Okay, all right. Mm-hmm. Not going well, but carrying on. That's, that's what it, the way it goes. Okay, it, it could be a tree in somebody's mind somewhere on the other side of the world because there's probably a tree that looks like this. Um, we can also draw on here if we need to amplify its treeness. Um, just keep building like a, a stronger stocky thing here. That's what it needs, a stronger stocky thing. I've got so much glue on my hands I can't pick up a button. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. And there we go. Do we look like a tree yet? It looks like some weird dancing banana or something. I don't know exactly what that is. <laughs> it could be a tree, right? I'll put this one upside down. Is it, oh, no, it's too big. Get a smaller one, Pam. Small one. Okay. Okay, we need some oh, run out. We're running out of glue. Okay, we're almost done. All right, there we go. Okay, so that's our basic shape. I'm wondering if I need... Okay, let me just try this. Yes, you guessed it. The Aquarellable Stabilo Pencil, 804. It looks like a five, but it's a six. It's a six. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's try. Okay. All right. We're trying. Maybe we need to do it with paint. That's possible. Yeah, maybe paint would be better. Um, oh. Now, I, I made purposely the attempt not to get the glue on the the cheesecloths so that it wouldn't repel this acryl and you're not supposed to dip and do this like they, they recommend not to do that but i'm doing it because it just seems easier it's like you feel like you want to do it and it's mine so i'm doing it it seems to be working i'm getting more more pigment down i think that's what's happening because i'm not really working on a a piece of paper here i'm working on cheesecloth on paper okay well, we are looking backwards. Let's try. Okay. This is kind of fun. Um, yeah, just something a little different today, goofing around. Friday's kind of play day, you know. They're all play days, who are we kidding? Um, but yeah, it's okay if you get a little on a button. Oh, wait, it's, we're among friends, right? Right. Okay. It's all going to dry together. Should I make it look like the tree goes off? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, there we go. All right, that makes sense in somebody's mind somewhere, right? Okay, I think I want to turn it around because it's easier for me to right hand this, this way. Oh, and I just felt like I wanted to splash all this stuff all over everything. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be really cool. Yeah. All right. I might even have to sharpen the pencil. I might. Let's just see, see how it goes. If you don't have one of these pencils yet, I highly recommend getting one. They're just so much fun to play with. They're not super expensive or anything, but they're 
Um, they're definitely fun. I think I need a little more water. Here. This is my, my little bowl, my makeshift bowl. Now, some of you will be saying, why doesn't she get a bowl? That messy crafter. I know. I, I can hear you from here. I can hear right in your brain, your thoughts. I know what you're thinking. But here we go. Coming down the home stretch. Coming down the home stretch. Okay. And if anything is not truly glued, we can always glue it again. We have the power. We got the glue. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's just a piece of material. I thought I lost my glue, my uh, pencil nib, but no, 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 no. So this is definitely making this little dancing banana stand out a little bit more than it was before. Okay, let's look at it for orientation purposes. And I'm, I'm feeling like I just want to sort of flick this on there. I'm going to do something with it, right? Yeah, I might as well put it to good use. And this is not lead. This is graphite, in case anybody's wondering about these pencils. So it's like, it's like graphite, so it's okay if you get it on your hands and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what it kind of looks like. a. It looks like a tree, but it also looks like, you know, Gumby going, hey. And, and yeah, I, can, I think I can even see Gumby's eyes. It's kind of weird. But um, um, so kind of cool. Now, I guess I could put a leaf. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you could draw a leaf too. I guess you could draw a leaf or use little leaf cutouts or something like that. Do I have leaf cutouts? Probably not. Oh, well, hang on. Maybe I do. Um, oh boy, are we off topic today. Okay. That's a little leaf. That's a little leaf. Do I see a little leaf? Little leaf? Come to me, little leaf. Are you here? Oh, look at you. All tucked in there, all nice and quiet. You might be a little big. Huh? Eh? Okay, let me, I have to, I have to snip something. Um, all right, what, what's that on? Oh, well, maybe we'll do some, some leaf punching out of some Gothic text. That might be fun. One, two, three. Okay, let's try that. Um, all right. Um, let's try the... Scotch Create glue stick. So it'll be easy to run these over. All right. Right there. That looks like a leaf. Oh, we're doing our best here. You know, that's all I can say. Doing, doing our best. And maybe, maybe these leaves are falling. Yeah. Okay, stick on there. Stick. You want more glue? You want more glue? I can tell. I can just, I know you. Yeah. All right. I'm going to put this one down here on the ground like it landed on the ground. All right. I keep thinking I'm hearing sunshine snoring, but it's me moving my chair. <laughs> it's not sunshine. I can't blame everything on sunshine, although I do try. And he knows it. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I know, I know. All right. I'm just making the ground more evident. Okay, we need to go around these. And stand out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I think so. I'm running out of water. No more water. Okay, I haven't answered very many questions today, have I? Bad, bad junk journal chat person. Okay, look over there. I need more glue here, obviously. And we're going to answer another question. Um, Pam, have you seen the rugs at Five Below? People are taking apart to use the fabric strips for junk journals. Oh, no, I haven't. I'll have to check that out because I have a Five Below near me. Um, so that's a, that's a cool idea. I didn't know they were taking them apart. Wow, they must be really cool fabrics or something to take a rug apart. That's some serious, some serious crafters at work. I'm, I'm impressed already. I have to check this out. Um, okay, give me a little more glow here. Okay. I'm just going to have to get the big glue going here. Just need a glob. All right. Oh, that was a big glob. All right. You definitely need more glob. Globby glue. And you, yep, yep. Don't be shy, Pam. Spread the wealth. Get the glue. Okay. Uh-uh. I have noticed that this is, seems, seems to be new on the Fabrifix that I got last time. 
I don't know if that's a new recent improvement, but it used to be a pop on, pop off red thing, but now it screws on and off, which I think keeps it more airtight, which is probably a good thing. So thank you, Fabrifix Company, for doing that, just in case you guys didn't know. And um, I think we can make those look more leafy. I'm going to get a, a marker for the more leafy, leaf-like leafiness of it. I'm just all into this today, apparently. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, there. Yeah. Oh, don't stop moving. I'm just, just trying to put down a few basic... That's all I'm asking of you is to stay still for one second. Okay, yeah, it looks a little more leafy. A little curve to it. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, then. Okay, there we go. Um, not bad, not bad for a piece of cover art. I think that would be very fun to put on the front of a junk journal. I mean, just to give you an idea of what it might look like, because it won't look like this, but um, let's make sure I don't have any. And it shouldn't be here, down here. Yeah, not bad. But to give you an idea of what that might look like, at least on a dark cover, and I could trim it a little bit if need be, but um, Something like that. That might look actually pretty cool. But anyway, you can do cover button art or button cover art for your junk journals. It would be very fun. And what else? Let's answer a question. Because that's what we do here. Where are we time with? Okay, we're good. And um, one more question. And we read that one. You did that one. Oh, I'm, I'm rolling. Okay. Hello, this is Jamie Dodge. Um, she's asking on the how to make a mini junk journal with free floating spine video. Hello. Good morning, Sunshine and Pam. Just a quick question for you, Pam. If you don't mind me asking, what is your zodiac sign? I have an idea what sign you might be, but I will wait for your reply. Well, I'm just going to ask you, what do you think it is? Mm -hmm. All right. Why don't you put comments in there and, and see what you think on this one. What, what do you think Pam's zodiac sign? And if you know, don't, don't say. <laughs> um, but just say, if you, if you don't know, take a guess and uh, we'll go from there. And uh, you might, I, 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 think, I think there is a trait in my zodiac sign that would kind of explain the things. Never mind, I'm not going to give you any clues. Never mind, you just guess and I'll let you know if you're right or not. How about that? That, that would be fun. Okay, so, Mr. Snuffleupagus, um, would you like to have a few words? I would love to have a few words. I am so ready with the readiness of everything. It's, oh, somebody, somebody requested a body shot. Yes, they wanted to see more than Sunshine's face in a, in a, in a you know, decent manner. We're not, not, not doing anything risque here. This is very, I'm fully clothed in my fur outfit. Okay, so mom, just show me sideways. Okay, so this is the fullness of Sunshine Boy. That, that is it. You wanted to see him in his glory? <laughs> Let me back up a bit. I'll give you a full, a full body shot. That was like kind of, kind of wimpy. Okay, no, I got to keep your face down to keep, keep it PG here, huh? I, I know you're wiggly. I know. This is him. This is as big as he is. He's, He's probably a good five pounder now. I gained a little weight. Yep, okay. Um, so there's not much more than his head. I mean, the rest is just like extra pieces, but we, we like them all. So everybody, it's Sunshine here. Um, that was very embarrassing, Mom. Don't ever do that again, please. Um, but Sunny, they asked. They wanted to see if you were more than just a floating head. Mom, really? They know I'm more than a floating head. Um, well, they had no proof. You could be a sock puppet. I could be, couldn't I? Yes, I could be a sock puppet. I have been compared to lamb chop, and um, I take that as a compliment, and I'll also take that as a snack. Um, just saying. So, this was interesting, Mom. You're going to have fun picking up all those buttons. Um, and I'm sure I'll help you as you drop some, and I'll point them out for you. I will not swallow them. I will not swallow them. 
don't swallow the buttons, sunshine. Don't swallow the buttons. We just got our tummy worked out. I'm having a little nap here while, while I'm delivering. I'm, I'm channeling. I'm snoring again. Was that a snore? I, no, Mom, I don't snore. Oh, oh, okay, right. Yeah, all right. Okay, everybody, big announcement. Sunshine does not snore. That's right. I don't snore. It's her. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. Under the bus again by my boy. Yeah. Okay, so um, happy crafting, everybody. Have a fabulous Friday. We love you all. And um, we'll see you next time at the Paper Outpost. Bye. Thank you. Very nice sign off. Very nice. Wait, you forgot your big ending. Right. Sunshine out. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay. So thanks, everybody. I do have fabric packs. Still a few left if you're interested. Um, these are 40 plus pieces of fabric cut from eight and a half by 10 down and smaller. Fun things that you can do with your junk journals. All sorts of different variety pack. Also, you get a triple bonus and very old 125-ish year letter, piece of vintage newspaper and some vintage stamps at no extra charge. You don't need a code, you don't need a coupon and you get free shipping, free priority mail shipping. How awesome is that? And then I also have available um, these are fundals. If you don't know, I sell fundals and fundals are collections of old and interesting papers, 100 plus pieces uh, for junk journal making, um, old antique ledger, checks, receipts, postcards, um, black and white photos, tea cards, da, 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 da. Um, all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, music papers, dictionary pages, really cool things to make junk journals with. So there you go. Nope, put that in the right pile, Pam. Don't get them mixed up. So um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, new audio material about junk journal making, life of a crafter, answering your crafty questions, and paper crafting. And also uh, my... Um, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. You get a free digital image, a uh, note from the bookmaker, a checklist of supplies, and a page list of ideas to have how to break the blank page, along with junk journal tips, updates from me, and peeks at new digi kits that are coming out. And um, I have an Etsy shop where I sell digi kits, which are printable, downloadable images, um, themed five pages each, um, birds, Victorian, um, Tea time, celestial, dragonfly, butterfly, flowers of all types. There's over 200 themes to pick from. Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, you name it, it's in there. Um, and if you would like, if you don't have a printer or don't like to print, I have a print and mail service. I will print them out for you. All I need is for you to buy the print and mail option and then send me the list of the 10 digit names that you want. You can send that list through Etsy message or to my email address, which is pam at thepaperoutpost.com. And I only need the first two or three words of the name, and I will know which one you're talking about. You can also say surprise me, and I will curate a nice collection for you. Um, I have an Amazon shop. If you like, uh, are you interested in the products that I, uh, you see me use here? I try and find the links for them and put them in there. It is an affiliate link. It does help my shop, but you do not pay more for the items for using my links. So thank you very much. And... Um, um, I have a t-shirt shop if you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything else is a craft supply until proven otherwise. This looks like Bart Simpson now for some reason to me with his arms up. It's changing before my eyes. I don't know. What do you see? Um, let me know. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe you'll do a better tree than I did. And um, uh, I have, you can find me on social media, on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're doing a lot of fun things over there, like weekly and monthly challenges, as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos. It's called The Paper Outpost Facebook Group. Just Google it or go to Facebook and pop that in and it'll pop up. And um, there you go, folks. So that's everything. Happy crafting. And I'll see. Did not pick a winner yet. Oh, I almost didn't pick a winner, but I did not turn the camera off. Look at that. I am now picking the winner of this amazing contest. You thought I wasn't going to do it. I almost didn't do it, but I'm going to now do it. YouTube random comment picker. Okay, hang on. Um, coming down here. Okay, I'm not going to move anything because I might accidentally turn it off. Okay, we're going to go a little closer. Okay, this is where we want to see the name. Let's see if you won. If you won the fertilizer letter on September 8th, 
It, Nancy Bassett, congratulations. You are the winner of the fertilizer letter, letter on September 8th. So just put that in your um, email to me and your name and your mailing address, and I will pop that in the mail to you. So there you go, folks. Take care. Have fun. And maybe make a, uh, a little button, a little button art today for a cover. And take care, everybody. Bye-bye.